Hey there, welcome back. Today will be the first edition of Casa de Mark. So, uh, yeah, welcome back, San Juan La Union vlog. Today, uh, it's hot out there. Let me see. Oh, yeah, look, it's hot and sunny. And so, because it's that way, I thought I was just going to go over a few things uh, just living here in the Philippines and uh, what to bring and what not to bring and kind of just some general prices of things to show you why you shouldn't bring them. So I'll go ahead and start. Um, let me give you a quick tour, okay? So this is my apartment. I'm just gonna do the downstairs today. Uh, over here, I'm gonna turn this around so you don't have to look at me. So, we got the front door, you come in, you got a TV, a mirror, uh, some general stuff down there, um, you know, an entertainment center. Uh, I spend most of my time just right here, um, you know, couch set up, there's a coffee table. I leave it there because, check this out, this comes out like that, and uh, that where my laptop is, I just bring it up and I sit there and that's usually where I do my video editing. And you're gonna be like, why do you have mattresses and pillows in your living room? You know what? It's gonna sound strange, but you know, at night, I just bring these two mattresses. Uh, why? Because just the five inch mattress is a little skinny you can still kind of feel the bottom because well i'm a bigger guy <laughs> so i have that little three inch mattress to put underneath and i just lay it out here and we go to sleep right here most often actually and uh while watching netflix and uh you know what uh, because of this ac right here you can't even tell it's on it's a uh, panasonic it's what they call here a split type so the condenser's outside, and I keep it on this quiet mode, and it's like super quiet. So, uh, it's, it's quiet, it keeps this whole area super cool, and I leave it on probably 20 hours out of the day, and sometimes at night I'll turn it off because someone else gets cold, and uh, I'll turn it off for a little while. But uh, anyway, uh, it, it just, I, I pretty much live down here. I go upstairs. I have two bedrooms up there, but it's mainly used just for hanging laundry or storage or, you know, there's a bed up there and everything. I, oh, you know, we could sleep up there and we do sometimes, but, um, I just like living down here. I'm a very simple guy, you know, eat, sleep, Netflix, surf, take a walk on the beach, sunsets. I'm done, you know? Uh, you got a little bit of, uh, you know, we eat dinner there. Uh, I got a little uh, ukulele there. Clock, fishing lure. Of course, you got some sex wax on the wall. We'll get into that later. Fridge, kitchen. Uh, that, that door leads back. There's a area where we can do laundry or hang laundry. Keep a garbage can back there. There's a bathroom here with a sink and toilet. And, uh, you know, it actually has a bathtub in there. Uh, I keep my mountain bike inside because I just don't like it getting all rusty outside. Right now it has a flat on the back. Uh, some kind of, I must have ran over a thorn or something. This Dura box and uh, the stairs that go upstairs. So, what you need to bring when you come over here? None of this stuff here. You can get all this stuff for really cheap in your kitchen. You know, um, I hang up a bunch of stuff here. Like this is like 60 pesos, you know, $1. ten, fifty cents. You know, yeah, all this stuff here you can buy. Pots, pans, little things. You know, a knife thing. It's super cheap over here. You know, like like this knife. It's like $1. twenty. you know, maybe a dollar, you know. So you can buy assortments of knives here. You know, I think this pot was like, you know, I don't know, 
was not much two bucks maybe 100 150 pesos two three bucks this right here i bought here uh, it's electric stove it has three settings high medium low i got this for 1200 pesos so you're talking 22 bucks and i've had it eight months it works perfectly it's starting to get some little stains on it and stuff but the deal is and if you're from uk it's probably different but if you're from the United States, this is 220. And um, you know, in the States we have 110. So I had a coffee maker and I brought it with me. I got this thing here for like 1,400 pesos. It's like 28 bucks, maybe less, maybe 1,003, somewhere around there. Under 30 bucks for this. And it works great. You know, you put your, you know water in here and your coffee grounds and I buy this uh cafe Baraka Baraco somebody's gonna correct me but it's natural grown coffee here in Cavita area and I get a big bag of it one kilo bag for like I think it's 150 pesos for 300 pesos you can get two bags delivered to your house something like that and um it, I've had it for two months, you know, this, this coffee, it, it's delicious. So coffee maker, don't bring your own. I had this one, it grinds, it's a Keurig, it grinds, it's, it's actually underneath the stairs here. And I've never used it because this right here costs under 30 bucks. Just the transformer for buying, uh, you know, buying the transformer is going to be like 3,000 pesos or 3,005 to get enough wattage. So, you know, it'd be 65 bucks to buy a transformer to use a used um, coffee maker. Yeah, it doesn't have a, uh, a grinder. I just buy my coffee ground already. Or if I want, I can put it in this thing. Uh, this is a little food processor. This thing, I got it for like oh, 600 pesos. Under 600. I think it was 600 delivered from Lozada. Lozada is your eBay here in the Philippines. And um, I, we've made salsa, guacamole. You can grind your coffee beans with it. All kinds of stuff. Food processor. 11 bucks. And then all this other stuff here. You know, this is like, you know, a buck. This is probably 50 cents. Not the vegetables in there, but, you know. Um... Like these little blue things, 50 cents a piece. Ah, now that, that's worth vlogging in itself. Dynamite. Yeah, these, uh, these were had for lunch. Uh, Cell made these delicious. It's uh, a chili, and she slices open a chili, puts some meat and cheese in there, wraps it up in a lumpia wrapper, and fries it. Ah, delicious. Dynamite. Um... This is the next thing I bought. When I got here, I, you know, I didn't buy the coffee maker right away. I was just drinking instant coffee. But uh, I'll go back and forth between instant coffee and brewed coffee, depending on, you know, my mood. Or if I just want one cup, I'll just do an instant coffee. If it's the morning, I'll, you know, brew up a whole, uh, you know, 10 cups. But um, this right here is your, what do you call it? Water dispenser. So it has hot, and then it has cold, and then just room temperature. I got this whole thing, and it plugs in, and it keeps your water really cold. So if you want some cold water, it's like ice water. If you want hot water for like cup of noodles or whatever, it's hot enough for cup of noodles. Let it sit three minutes, dinner. <laughs> that was about 5,000 pesos, maybe 5,100. So it's 100 bucks. Yeah, people say, oh, it's too expensive. You could just buy a thing. Yeah, but like, you know what? It looks nice. And uh, it holds the water nice. And I really like having hot water just like when I need it. If I want some instant coffee and cold water, you know, it's nice. You don't have to add ice. Got some soft drink down there. Anyway, this is a fridge. I bought this here used. A fridge like this size depending on the name brand, it's going to run you about 18 to 22,000 pesos. So like 360 to 400 bucks. Um, this, you know, 
it's it's plenty big for two people. We got dragon fruit in there. Uh, really nice, uh, good size for two people. It you're not gonna find your American size fridges here, but in the mall, and they're gonna be more. They're gonna be like eight hundred bucks to a thousand bucks. So if you need that size, you can get them here, but they are more expensive. I recommend just getting your normal size. My electric bill here is super cheap. I mean, I'm talking 80, I just got my electric bill. And you know what? I'll show it to you so you can see. So they put this on your door and maybe I'll, I'll just go like this. And if you can see that, it is 4,312 and 87 cents which is roughly $86. And I know some people here will be like, oh, my electric bill's, you know, 20 bucks. Well, yeah, my electric bill is $86, but I run that, a two horsepower split type AC, 20 hours a day. And it's nice and cool in here all the time. So it depends what you want in life. And, you know, I have a fridge and my cooking is electric so that in itself probably takes up you know 800 to a thousand pesos a month in electricity because we we do we eat in a lot we cook and use this all the time plus the coffee maker plus the water dispenser plus the, the you know refrigerator freezer so we're pretty much all electric so what i have for a backup is I'm just gonna pan around as I talk. Um, what I have for a backup is a, um, what do you call it, a gas stove. And it's just by can, and I'm not gonna break it out and show you. Maybe um, if anybody's interested, they can email me. But you put a, a can of butane in it, and then you can cook. And that's just in case we have an extended brownout here, you know, power outage. Um, I can still cook because, you know, we normally cook with electric. So I have that as a backup. It was cheap. I think it was like a, about the same as this plug-in electric. I think it was about a thousand pesos, 20 bucks. And plus, if you go camping or whatever, you can use it too. So it has multi-uses. People probably ask, why do you have that can there? It's full of water. If you're, you have a brownout for any extended period of time, you can scoop water out of there, put it in your toilet or whatever, flush your toilet, you know, maybe brush your teeth with the water. It, it is, you know, tap water. Um, it's just good to have extra water uh, because when your power goes out, so does your water pump. We're on well water here, so we wouldn't have water. So at least you could flush your toilet maybe three or four times. Or, you know, you could shower with it, wash your hands, wash the dishes, whatever. I've never experienced a brown out here longer than eight or nine hours, and that was scheduled. So I knew about it in advance. As for, and it's only been one since I've been here for eight months. Other small brown outs, probably a total of five or six brown outs, ranging anywhere from five minutes to two hours. And, you know, you just roll with it. This right here is a Dura box, that's what they call them. And um, it was about 2,400 pesos. You know, it's like 50 bucks for this thing, less than 50 bucks, 40 to 50 bucks. And you can open it and uh, I keep my milk in there. And yeah, it's just extra stuff, you know. I recommend those. Microwave I bought here at Savers, 2,500 pesos, 50 bucks. So don't be shipping a microwave here. You're wasting your time. I bought the rice cooker here. The rice cooker was like a thousand pesos, 20 bucks. Uh, you know, I got rice. Uh, I got a boogie board over there. These fans, I got that fan, which is the same as, well, the other fan went upstairs. But I got two fans for 1,500 pesos. So it was like, buy one, get one. I uh, got a little trash can. And 
Let's see here. Uh, I think I've gone over pretty much everything. You know, lately I've found that a lot of people, like I'll spend a lot of time going and filming something, a beautiful area and this and that. And, you know, I add the beginning part of it and the end. I add music and I add all these things. And people really just like a point and shoot and what's your life like there? And that's what this video is. Um, like, like here, this plant was bought in the market. And uh, see, I think so, so, so she got it for 90 pesos, less than two bucks. And she put it in this really nice pot. And we got that pot. Um, we got it at Pebble Beach. And there's another video where we bought it, if you want to watch there, that video. And uh, we got it for under 200 pesos, like 180 pesos. So for like less than $4, we got that pot. And those are real stones on it. It's a real pretty pot. Those shells, I got free diving out in front here. They were out in the ocean. And same with the corals. So it's all local. And it's a nice little touch. Um, the ukulele, I bought this thing in the mall for 30 bucks. It's 1,500 pesos. And again, I'm just kind of going over some of the prices. So like if you play music here, this is the music se uh, section of the video. Uh, you can get instruments here for fairly cheap. And a really nice sound. I mean, it plays well. Uh, tunes, the tuners are okay to hold a tune. Um, I got this clock for, I want to say, I think it was like, or 500 pesos maybe 800 pesos i don't know between 10 and 20 bucks it's glow in the dark so at night the hands glow and the you know the numbers glow it's kind of cool and then the other big thing here is my base and so i got this as a package i got a base amp the cord my base which is in there um, it's brand new bass, four string, with a tuner and the carry bag. All four, get this, 320 bucks. It's like 17,000 pesos, maybe 340 bucks, something like that. Right around 340 bucks. Delivered. And you know what? The amp is fine for practicing and stuff, or maybe a small gig. Uh, the bass, really great. Doesn't buzz, um, nice action on it. Really nice quality base. You know, the base is probably about 100, 120 bucks. You could get the same price in the States for this base. Hey, for my purposes, good enough. I'm not a pro professional bass player. I even got this uh, tripod here, which I use for recording surfing down on the beach. You can see those videos, previous videos. Uh, it was 30 bucks, 1,500. The feet extend, so it comes up high. I bought this, I bought this really nice handy cam. Um, I've used it here and or uh, it was 80 bucks, 82 bucks. And the quality isn't up there, say with the stabilizing as say a Sony, which would be about 200 bucks, but it works great. And uh, you know, from, I don't make any money vlogging, so fits my budget. <laughs> uh, other things, you're gonna want one of these. These are cool. This is a mosquito zapper. You just hold that and it electrifies the mosquito. And we kill two or three a night with this thing. Moving on to furniture and mattresses. The five inch mattress was Oh, gee. I think it was like 60 bucks, 3,000 pesos. The skinnier mattress, the three inch mattress, less. I believe it was like 30 bucks, 1,500. Um, so for furniture, I got this whole couch and chair set for 25,000 pesos, which is. 500 bucks. It's Joy Love Furniture Company. I don't know. It's out on the diversion road here in San Juan, La Union. If you type in furniture stores, it'll pop up. They have 
even leather, pleather selections. And I like this one because it's the most comfortable. It's the softer type of uh, padding. It's the pillows and just super comfortable. All three, the two chairs and the couch, 25,000 pesos. Then I got this thing here. Uh, that was like, I want to say a hundred bucks. It's about maybe, maybe, I don't know, shoot. I can't remember between a hundred and 200. I want to say it was like 9,000 pesos, but I like it because it comes up. This little side table here was 40 bucks, you know, 2,000 pesos. This is actually a TV, you know, rolling stand. I just put it next to it. This plant we bought in the local market, put in there. Uh, this TV stand here was 2,000, I'm sorry, 200 bucks, roughly 10,000 pesos. It was a little under that. It was like 9,000 something, but about 190, 200 bucks. And that's for the whole TV stand. The TV I got at the mall here, and it was a really good deal. I got that, and it comes with, you know, the remote. And look, I just push the home button. Uh, I push the apps. So I go over here to Netflix and, uh, you know, you can pick, you know, whatever you want. And you can see movies I'm watching. I'm watching Breaking Bad at the moment. <clears throat> it's just a great deal, you know, for these kind of things. I do YouTube, you know, at night, watch the news and just so you see kind of how a foreigner lives here, like an expat, if, if I want to watch the news, usually I'll just come over here and I'll do apps, come over here to YouTube, and uh, it will log in. I have a fiber optic here. It's, you know, all right. Uh, you go to home, you go to search, NBC, nightly news, yeah. there it is. So that came out five hours ago. Click on it and get my 20 minutes. It's kind of like being in the States. <laughs> and I don't, I can watch, I can watch Lester Holt here on TV for 20 minutes of American news and be caught up. So that's it. That's life here. Everyday living in the Philippines. Casa de Mark. Um, so I do all my video editing there. And I don't see anything else down here I could go over. When I moved in, the table and chairs, uh, they were left here for me to use. Same with the mirror. So I can't give you a price on those. But like I said, the fridge used 200 bucks. It was like new. It was only a year old or so when I came in here. So about half price. So I bought it. Everything else, you know, I, I'm not going to tell you how much you need to buy all that. I gave you some basic prices, and um, you can add them all up and see how much you need. And I would just put an extra 200 on because, you know, maybe you won't get a fridge that's used. Maybe you'll buy a new fridge. And then, yeah, you could get an apartment that's furnished. I just like picking out my own stuff, you know. if It's not that I'm that picky, but... It's kind of fun. You go out like and buy the things that you like, you know. I wanted black for a fridge. I was just lucky to get a black fridge because it kind of matches the chairs. But in here, everything's kind of brown. But I liked, I just wanted simple. Um, like this right here, I can roll this out. And sometimes I'll just roll this out, out to here. And then it can sit and watch uh, the news while we eat dinner. Usually I don't do that, but sometimes there's a special something going on on the news and I want to watch it and uh, that's a nice feature so that's it it's a point and shoot uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of things to bring like I said don't bring a coffee maker like me learn my mistake and if you get here and you really have to have an American coffee maker on 110 hey I got one for sale <laughs> hasn't been used for eight months <laughs> all right another video to come uh perhaps tomorrow thanks for watching and um that's it for now